welcome back point uh, hey guys today i'm going to discuss the next important topic is the subclinical hypothyroidism this is very important topic because usually they give the long history to confuse you with the other features of our thyroiditis uh, usually we don't think of uh, subclinical hypothyroidism so i will tell you the important points what you need to look for usually they give the history like um, a patient is has come for regular follow-up so his everything was normal but suddenly on investigation you find the tsh level is elevated and uh, the patient is doing very well uh, she he doesn't have any symptoms so uh, this is very important so most of us think then uh, they will ask you what is the best next step so rather than that you start of thinking of some scans you did not take uh, scan or every other other things so this is very important what you need to remember okay how do you find them remember this is no sign and symptoms with elevated tsh and normal t4 just it's a subclinical hypothyroidism subclinical hypothyroidism so don't get confused with other features just look for these things they give the long history uh, the patient has come for regular follow-up he will not come in an emergency room he will come for regular follow-up okay so you have elevated tsh with a normal t4 normal t4 no sign and symptoms so nothing to worry so how do you treat it no treatment nothing is required just an observation that's it not observation in the hospital just leave him okay discharge him he is in the he, he he will come to your office for this so nothing to worry uh, it will come normal okay no need to give any treatment this is very important topic try to remember thank you so much for watching my video i hope you like it please subscribe like and the comment thank you so much